big controversy. It's big stuff. We had a lot of comments about this, uh, wanting you to call me Poppy. Uh huh. And it was not a lot for Bodhi. I got not a lot of support on this. Sorry about that. The thing is, is um, referring to the last podcast we did where I felt that Jenna should uh, treat me more like a man, like the man I am. And I was saying that perhaps the sequence is wrong. You know, perhaps you be your best self and that draws in how people treat you as opposed to people treat you and then therefore you are. And I was saying that, of course, I'm a man and that it would feel nice if... Well, I mean, uh, you have a penis, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I, I mean, you recall it. You do. You recall it? <laughs> what I mean is, is that, of course, I'm a man, but that it feels good as a man to be treated like a man from his wife. Only I can say that from the viewpoint of in our marriage for me. And sure. And I thought maybe there was other people that would respond to that. And there was a few men out there. I think most of the men are cowed and didn't want to comment, worrying that their wives would read it. But the thing that I thought was most interesting, that I thought was very telling, mm -hmm. was in the joke of our podcast and how much fun you and I had with you calling me papi, that you, after our podcast, uh -huh. you glared at me the entire day. And you were not kidding. You were in... I wasn't glaring at you like you when I'm mad at you. It was a different... in the funniest mood. I was in a funny mood, yes. And you were quiet. I was trying to reconcile the logic. glaring. And it lasted the entire What's day. It glaring like, well, like it, I'm mad at you. Like it wasn't the kind of glare like when you do were it. in an argument. Do, you was slightly... I was flat. You were... I just felt flat. Like I was looking at you like... <laughs> no, no. That's quizzical. Okay, let me let me see if I can get it. Back. You could if you could go back on your haunches of your face haunches <laughs> and sit in a slight in a slightly judgmental semi like amused that? semi amused glare. Is this it? A little less. Okay. Yeah. But if you can add to it in your mind Thinking. whatever was going on. <laughs> Because you really, I mean, I still feel that I'm right about this, that it is nice to be treated like your joke of like, oh, papi, but like, or my joke. joke. Yeah, but then you made jokes for, <laughs> for five, I six I condescended days. you deeply. Nonstop. Like, oh, papi, you could do it. Oh. <laughs> so from that yeah. joke, mm -hmm. but how... From that joke, and taking into consideration how funny you were for the rest of the day, I think I'm onto something. Yeah. You, you, oh gosh. And there was another point yesterday where I think the kid said, oh now I, if I don't remember, then it's not fair for you, but. You're not on the witness stand. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Objection hearsay. Yeah. <laughs> Foundation. Ask and answer. Asked and answered. Yeah. Okay. So. I can maybe put this to an end. But I don't know if you want it put to an end. Okay. I do understand what you're saying. I understand that men like the... Well, I'm not going to speak for all men. What the fuck? Hang on, I gotta take a sip of coffee and work this out. Uh, sidebar, Your Honor, sidebar. <clears throat> overruled. Not that you can overrule a sidebar, but let me just finish my thought, <laughs> if I may. Mm. Um, I get it. I get that I can see from your point of view how like that, that love and that feels so nice. Oh, feels so good. It's the same love I give to the boys. Mm. I get it. Mm -hmm. So I don't not understand it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did understand it towards the end of the podcast that last time. 
But there's a part of it that I hadn't reconciled for myself, so I wasn't giving it up fully yet. And then you came to some reconciliation? I'm getting there. Mm. It has modifiers on it. <laughs> there's like footnotes and post-it notes. There's like little tabs on my understanding. Carry on, Mr. Selfman. Okay. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Because I understand just that love. It's like a, a affection. Mm -hmm. I think that's just the word is like an affection. Mm -hmm. I don't really love making you the king. Like I don't like the phraseology and the semantics of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I get it. Mm -hmm. That's the part in me where it triggers something mm -hmm. that I can't quite let go of. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's just all on me. <laughs> I, it's fine. But mm -hmm. it is. There's something in me that I'm like. So like that, because I don't, I don't ask to be made the queen. I don't ask that. I don't you, feel the need for it. You have your own version of that. You don't use those words, but you have your own version of that. Can you, um, elaborate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I recall, expound? <laughs> I recall a couple times where this was a while ago. Cause I've since been thoroughly trained where I would like walk into a restaurant, open the door and like walk in before I open the door for you or sat down at a Aren't restaurant. Aren't those basic manners though? Well, hang on. Not or make I, me the queen. I'm not or, asking or, for or, like a trumpet. Or ordered food before you at a yes, restaurant. Yes, because that's, that's common manners. But, but it would ha you gave me a talk one day that yes, I never forget. It was like, bad manners. treat me like a lady. And I was a young man who... Right didn't know any better raised by raised by a feminist mom you didn't you weren't i wasn't educated to treat anyone like a lady yeah i was just treated to treat with raised respect. to treat everyone with respect and fairly but there was sure. no there was no hold the door and don't just launch into your order without oh, no. looking to the lady and saying what would you yeah. like now that talk was a big talk and it's amazing that 20 years later or more it's never happening like i treat you like a lady it was your way of saying i'm a lady but it wasn't a flow. Here's the difference to me. But okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. I, it's it's the it's the version of that. I see. And I'm trying to think if there's a I way just, that you all might. I want to do is roll my eyes so hard. Right I know now. you do. It's incredible. Yeah. It is, and I wonder, man. I don't know what's what they're putting in the water, but there's um. a lot of men that just don't like to treat their man lately like a king. It's just like you get this vehement reaction yeah. of like, oh, so you should be your own chef. We don't need to treat your... I mean, even the comments were hilarious. It was, and, and we were just being playful. But it is like... Yeah. It's not very popular right now in our society for you to give it up, for a woman to give it up to a man to be a king in moments, if at all. <laughs> Not all the time, I'm saying. I still feel very strongly that there's a sequence there. I, I, I do feel there's a sequence there. It's, I think that's the chicken or the egg. Like, you can go uh -huh. to the sequence all the time. How could there be a chicken without an egg? How could there be an egg without a chicken? Uh, I think you're saying if you just are the king, then no. But I'm like, yeah, but if you are no, a king, just... but the wife continually makes sure she doesn't treat you that way, yeah. then it's sort of, it's a... It's a bit of both. Yeah, I understand. I love it when you treat me like a man. Are you going to cry? No. It sounded like your voice just got emotional. No, I think that there's just... Why are you wearing your sunglasses? Because it's very bright in here. Uh-huh. I don't want anyone to see. <laughs> it's po it's, it's the game. I realize now that it's a game of poker with you. And this is... I've decided that uh, this is my poker game. Yeah. That, like, it's this is the... World Series of Poker in Vegas. I understand it. Mm -hmm. I do. I get it. Because I know that, like... But I just give the boys that love. But I don't give it that way to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mrs. Elfman, you do not. You do not. I feel like... I don't know. And, and even in that other little... Often not talked about subject... Or category of romance that's a little bit in the same area too like something in there like a little mm. like not quite give it up 
<laughs> I don't mean specifically within that act. That I just mean the subject entirely. I'm not talking about people the think act. that we don't have sex because of how you talk about it, and we get more regular sex than most married couples that have been together this long, and that is a fact. Yeah. And even couples who've been married way less than us, I promise. How you. do you know? You, I don't. Ha- how do you know? I don't talk to you about what I talk to with other women. <laughs> Women, that's so, sister talk. So do you do like like comparison check-ins with your friends? No, but they just mention. Mm. They mention. <laughs> what are you all giggly about? I don't know. It just made me laugh, the idea of what you guys must discuss and how content you must be with. <laughs> but see, you, you are living in this. And I don't think that I'm, I think I'm very late to this party of yours. What party is this? About women. Okay. Wait, what? Say, say, I'm, in, I'm lost. Go ahead. Oh, my God. This, wait, what party about women? There's a woman party? Say it again. You, we talk a lot about double standards. Yes. Yeah, we do. And I bump into that a lot. Yeah. But you refuse it always. Okay, give me my double standard. Oh, God. Okay, let me think. I, I'm not ready for this argument okay. yet. I have my notes are in my okay. other jacket. All you right. know, I got a long. Should my we, clipboard is should, in the other room. Should we break for? Should we break for lunch, Your Honor? And yeah, I we... need to. You know, we should. This okay. the court should take a recess, okay. afternoon recess, and All I right, can good. pull my notes and pull out my folio with my <laughs> dictums of uh, expounded uh, articulations on the double standards that you have denied from day one. And I feel that I married into a protest about strong women. Oh. 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 So you're saying that it goes... I'm very late to the party of your party on a protest about women and their being... Because it, like maybe associates with some other experiences you have that are different but similar wow. that you wow. possibly have associated and are wow. aimed my way. You know, a good a good legal team will wait to the very end to bring out <laughs> the, the, yeah. the star witness uh, that seals the case. Uh-huh. It's, and I, I respect <laughs> what you just did from, from a standpoint of... <laughs> Where you just pulled out my mom <clears throat> in the podcast. I, I didn't say anything about your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh. I said nothing. No, I. you got to give it up to, to the legal mindedness of you and what your team has pulled off here today. I mean, it is definitely, it shows that you guys are whip smart and that you are going for the gold on this one. I, I definitely got to give it up. I expect my mom to come out of a back room mm. and sit down next to us at any time. I see. Along with a camp counselor and... <laughs> I have nothing further, Your Honor. No, no, uh, no. I, I, I think you should rest your case here. Yeah. I'm, this, is, this was a shocking turnaround in today's events. Yeah. A shocking turnaround. Yeah. Pretty... Let me just put my collar up here and yeah. grab my bag and yeah. exit the building. Yeah. Drops Mike. <laughs> <laughs>